Hey guys, I'm Junior with that hashtag show, talking to an Academy Award winning producer, Roy Connolly. How are you, sir? I'm doing exceedingly well today. Can I just, first of all, I just want to say Treasure Planet is one of my favorite movies of all time. <laughs> you know how happy that makes me feel, you know, when Treasure I just want to start with that, because... No, I'm you... a big Treasure Planet fan myself, and, uh, you know, I just love when people bring it up, because... When it came out, it was not a huge hit. Not at all. And I, there is not a week that goes by where I'm not told by someone, God, you know, Treasure Plant's my favorite film. And I'm like, yeah. right on. Well, right. thank you for that, sir. <laughs> um, we're here to talk about Tiger. Uh, you're not a stranger to Disney nature films. You've done incredible films like Polar Bear, Penguins, Born in China. What was it about Tiger that, you you guys had to do this. Well, when I first started working on Disney Nature, Disney Nature turns 15 this year. It's been wow. the first time we came out with Planet Earth was 2019 or 2009, rather. Uh, and so I joined the team in 2015 uh, with Born in China. And when I did that, I did a little straw poll at the animation studio asking people, what is the favorite animal that you you, know, you have? Yeah. And it hands down was tigers. And I've since learned that universally it's tigers. People throughout the world love this animal. Yeah. And it wasn't until just recently in the last five years that we felt that there was the equipment, the camera technology to capture this amazing behavior because tigers are the most elusive animal in the wild to capture. Yeah. And so with the advent of, um, you know, movie carbon, which is a, a, a camera that can be controlled from a mile away and camera traps and GSS uh, stabilized cameras off of Jeeps with long lenses that you can, you know, film from as much as 300 yards away. Uh, that 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 was um you know a boon and so we were able to actually capture tiger behavior that no one has ever seen on screen before oh i can tell it was incredible um yeah. I, I actually watched it with my mom over the weekend and she just was in india back in december so she went to one of the parks and actually got to see some of the tigers so she was just like oh my god look i remember this i remember that and she said, like, like you said, it took her three days to finally see tigers. And when they finally showed up, it was, I think, two tigers. And she was just, she loved it. So just seeing her face watch this film made me so happy. Oh, that's so, great. And she was just, how they, how they... see a tiger in the, in the wild. Uh, I've had friends who've gone and done, you know, tiger safaris. And yeah. they, you know, they'll go a week and they don't see any. So, you know, the kind of behavior that we got. And because of the technology and because of these amazing, I mean, you know, my, my teams are the, uh, in the, in the field are the best natural history filmmakers in the world. Yeah. What they're able to get is just breathtaking. What was pre-production like? Like, did you know, did you guys know where you, where you wanted to scout? Uh, what tiger, like, what, how was that? Cause I know you guys even gave a shout out to the park rangers at the end. Did they give you guys like an idea? Okay, there's these tigers here, like in this vicinity, et cetera, et cetera. This is this is the wonder of working with guys like Mark Linfield and Vanessa and uh, Vanessa Berlowitz and and Rob Sullivan from Wildstar. Yeah. Uh, first of all, these guys are biologists, animal behavioralists. They're, I mean, they're they're steeped in um, yeah. I mean, they're, they're they've been doing this for years, and they know exactly who to con contact and how to, to set this up. Yeah. I'm really involved in helping make the story. Right. Uh, I, I, res I look at these guys as modern day heroes. Uh, these are, these are the adventurers of the 21st century, right? Yeah. These, these are the Shackletons of today. These are the, you know, the Livingstons of today. I mean, they're really amazing what they do. And so I'm, I am always in awe of how they are able to pull together such vivid imagery. And then with artistry, the artistry of the camera work in this is really phenomenal. Did you know that this was gonna be 1500 days of filming? No, no, <laughs> but, 
there was a thing called COVID that happened. Oh, that's right. Yes. Okay. Uh, we were in the field. We got we got a season of of filming in, and then we had to pull the team out. Okay. And then we let the team back in, and then we had to pull the team back out. Uh, so fortunately, because of the support from uh, Disney, we were able to you know garner the team and get it get them back in there and get all this footage that helped tell this story. And I, I have to say, uh, Disney really stepped up. And it's, it is kind of the wonder working for a company like Disney, because, you know, natural history filmmaking kind of started with Walt Disney, yeah. you know, with true life adventures back in the late forties and, 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 and through the fifties. And, you know, that the support that we've gotten has been just phenomenal. That's incredible. Um, out of all the tigers, did you have a favorite? Oh, it's yeah, it's interesting because I I I like Golu because he's he's kind of clumsy and uh, I thought he was cute. But yeah, all those all those cubs, you know, it's fascinating as they're they 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 they're born and immediately, I guess just like our kids, you can see personality traits. Yeah. So, you know, you look at Charm and, and she was absolutely so lovely and, and, and shy and Raj uh, uh, was so, Ravi was so kind of, uh, you know, bold. And then Ivy, you know, who just loved to climb stuff. I mean, it was, they all have great personalities. So it's hard to say which one I, I like the best. Well, Charm was my favorite. I thought she was incredible. And especially the way that it ends you he's know. kind of a hero in a way. yes exactly um and i wanted to pitch some to you can we get a nature uh disney nature on a sloth bear please because uh <laughs> sloth, bear is I, I sloth bear i was like oh well, i want more of these guys they're awesome yeah. they're they're pretty they're comedic in a way they're actually amazingly vicious wow they're they you know those claws that they have um you know t talk about storytelling yeah one of the things that altered the story was uh, that ca the the Shankar hunting the sloth bear. Yeah, it doesn't happen very often because they're the, the, those claws are like razor sharp, and wow. the fact that it happened and then that he presents that as a gift was really kind of an amazing thing. So yeah. that's the thing that I love about natural history uh, storytelling is that as things come in, your story changes and you're able to make you know, some, some really interesting behavioral, uh, commentaries. Yeah. Well, Roy, I, I can't wait for everyone to see Tiger on Earth Day on yeah. my birthday, actually. So I'm very, <laughs> that's even like the, <laughs> yes, thank you. I'm so excited. I'm like, I want people to see more Earth Day films. So, um, Ooh. I can't wait for children, everyone, families to see this. I loved it. And it's, it's been a pleasure to talk to you. And I'm really happy your mom liked it. Oh, she loved it. <laughs> Thank you so much for have an incredible rest of your day. All right, you too. Be good.